Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, what great one are we going to grind today? What do you guys think we should chase after? I think I'll put up a poll and let you guys decide. Let's see what you guys want to see. Let's see. All right, I'm only going to do the ones that we're set up for. We're not set up for Whitetail right now, so it's not going to be on the list. There we go. Let's see what you guys vote for. I got a feeling it's going to bounce all over the place. Oh, yeah, it's bouncing all over the place. Holy. Moose and Fallow are like neck and neck, man. That's crazy. All right, so when it gets to 50 votes, I guess that's when we'll call it. Or maybe we should let it go to 75. Hmm. Nah, 50. We'll do 60. We'll do 60. Four votes to go before it hits 60. It's a dead tie with Moose and Fallow. Oh, Fallow got the next vote. Okay, looks like we're doing Fallow to start. Holy crap. Yeah, Moose and Fallow were tied like that entire time. But Fallow was the one that kept bouncing ahead. So it looks like we're starting with Fallow and then maybe we'll do Moose after. We're going to do both of them probably today. I kind of feel like just bouncing between all of them. This was just a poll to decide what we go for first. That's crazy that Moose and Fallow had a dead tie at the end. But there was more people uh, voting on Fallow, so we're going to start with Fallow, I guess. We're actually approaching a thousand kills on this Fallow grind. No, there was no resets with this update. No resets. Everything should be exactly how it was before the update. For your animals, at least. Is it going to be a Tackle Tuesday tonight? Oh yeah, of course. Of course. And it's going to be the brand new season as well. Did the new DLC reset the maps? No, it did not. No resets with this update. And I've got the wrong loadout on. We're doing good. Wait till you guys see some of these new skins. Like, these new skins are really, really, really nice. Like, look at that. That just looks clean, man. That looks so good. And then there's one of the new wood grain finishes. New skin on the AR. Oh, oh man. You'll love to see it. And we got one on here too. The new like digital camo. There's so many new skins. It's actually kind of crazy. It's actually kind of insane. Nice, Josiah. That's awesome, dude. Uh, just ask it, Lone Turk. You don't have to. You don't have to ask me if you can ask me a favor. Just ask it. Okay, we're probably not going to shoot the ones in this zone this run because I have a bunch of pressure there from today's video. So we're not going to do that. We're going to skip that zone. Hey, Christian, how's it going, dude? Um, maybe, Grandmaster Willie, maybe. It's possible. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Hey, CSK? Hey, RC? You guys just got the angler. Nice. It's a fun game, dude. The fun game. You don't have to repeat so much, by the way. And just give me a couple seconds to respond. Gosh! I'm only one person. I can only respond so fast. I promise I'm trying. 
Uh, I'm doing pretty good, Sam. Come on, Mr. Fallow. Just be... Okay, there, there we go. There we go. Finally. Yasu, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Welcome back. I hope you're doing good, man. It's good to see you back. As always, enjoy all the perks that come with that. Welcome back, Yasu. How many golds? Uh, I don't really keep track of the golds. There's been too many to count. Oh, two males in that zone this time. Nice. Ma'am, get out of here. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Love the new update so far. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. Lone Turk, I already told I already responded to you. What it what is up with people today and not hearing when I respond to them? Do I need to talk louder? <laughs> they sure notice if I don't respond, but man, they don't notice if I do respond. <laughs> oh, man. That is too funny. Two thirty nine. How many piebalds? Um, I haven't kept track of individual rares, but I've got four rares in total on this grind. And 36 rare fallow across all of our fallow grinds. Yes, we'll be playing Angler later today. It'll be uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as always. AMP15, how's it going, dude? Yeah, we got two fallow here. Wow. I'm going to be honest. I didn't look at what level those were. Did one of those look like a five? <laughs> one of them might have been the big four. That might have been a big four rack. 18. What was this? Okay, good. Neither of them were fives. I didn't even look at the level. <laughs> Hey, NASCAR Shorts, I'm doing good. Yasu, thank you for the super chat, dude. It's going good. Just need you to come hunting here. Man, I would love to hunt in Africa, but I do not do good with travel. I, I do not do good with travel at all. Otherwise, I'd go on trips like that. Thank you for the super chat once again, man. Oh, yeah, Clay Drew. It's going to be fun. Silly fallow deer. They're being silly. What is the best map to grind moose? I would say probably if you're doing herd management, Layton easily. If you're doing just shooting everything for the moose, then your best option is either Medved or Rev. Both are pretty good. How many Mellas? One this grind. And it was the super rare. That's the only Mellow we've had this grind. Which is crazy. Man, we're 15 kills off of a thousand kills in the grind. Man, oh man. 
I just want this great one to spawn so I can put that collar out and call him in for the kill shot. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so, so nice. Thank you, Tony. Nice, Clature. Nice, dude. Yeah, thank you, Sam. Did you tax on commons? If you want to. That's the thing about Call of the Wild. There's no rules on, like, what you should or shouldn't tax. You can tax whatever you want to put in your lodge. Is this one of my longest grinds for Fallow? Yes, this is my third longest. Which is crazy to say, because like a thousand, that's not too crazy. So it's insane that this is my third longest grind ever for Fallow Deer. Clager, one does not simply beat the Doan. You just get lucky, you know? <laughs> One does not beat Doen. One just gets lucky once. Jeez, Darth. That's rough. Yeah, I, um... I had one that was 2100, and then I had one that was 1700. All the others have been sub 600, aside from the one we're currently on. I have been very, very lucky with Fallow. Darth, are you excited for the uh, for the Tackle Tuesday tonight? I sure am. I think it's going to be great to get this new season underway. We pay someone to take out Doan's casting arm? See, I like that. I like that idea right there. Hit him where it hurts. How do I manage a solo fallow zone that only spawns four to fives? The rest of my smaller or solo zones are smaller twos and threes. Ooh, well, the only thing you can really do, you have two options. Either just continue shooting it until it um, until it spawns as a lower level, or stack a bunch of fives in your main zones, and then try to shoot that zone down. Then try to go and shoot that solo down. That's probably going to be your best bet, because having those fives on the map will push up the average score of the uh, population. Therefore, pushing down the average score of respawns. That is what I would recommend doing. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Also, Caitlin, what time are you streaming today? Hey, CJO, what's up, dude? You, uh, you do good. Did you do good in your Tackle Tuesday entry? I gotta know, you know, just sizing up the competition. Yasu, thank you for the super chat again. Shot a monster of a cave buffalo today, so I'm happy. Nice, dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you for the, su the super chat once again. You got a gold? Well, that's that's better than nothing. That is better than nothing, man. Boom. Alone. I told you earlier, just say it. 
J just say what you want me to do, and then I can tell you if I would. How do you guys finish Tackle Tuesday? Okay, okay. Because if you're if you're live when I when I stop being live, I might just send everybody over to you. Provided, uh, provided you're live at the time that I end. There we go. Hey, bro, bro. <laughs> How's it going? There we go. Why is Yukon not as good for moose grinds? Ah, uh, there's just too much water to cover and too many moose. It's got way too many moose. That's the... That's really all there is to it. Yukon just has too many moose and too much water that they can be at, so it takes a lot longer to find them. You think we're going to get a big boy albino this run? Maybe. I mean, our HM has been popping off like crazy, so if we do get a rare, it's likely going to be big. Herd management has been going crazy as of recent. That's our smokable one. How many kills so far? 995 in this grind right here. Getting a pie fallow every 78 kill. That is crazy lucky. That is crazy lucky. That's a five. There we go. Finally a five on the day. Finally a five on the day. Let's go. The first five. Started my Red Deer grind two days ago. No diamonds. Any tips? Uh, you could try herd managing. I don't know if you want to, but... You could try herd management. I've got guides uh, on it on the channel. And it will give you more diamonds. By quite a lot. Ma'am, I did not mean to shoot you. Quickly, let's go claim that mail. We gotta claim the diamond, then dip. Come on. Don't. There we go. 253. Don't let the doe die. Don't let the doe die. Oh my gosh. The does have been like... They've been crazy, this grind. They just really want to die for some reason. Why do the does want to die so bad? Oh, uh, man. You are doing herd management? Um, I mean, if you're doing herd management and you're not getting more diamonds, then I think your pride is not far enough along. Because the thing is, you have to herd manage every single herd on your map. You can't just do like a few of them. That's like the big thing. Turk, you have to be trolling at this point. You asked me like 10 times if I would do you a favor. I told you three different times to tell me what that favor was and you're still asking and acting like I didn't answer you. You got to be trolling at this point. Either hurry up and ask or stop asking. <laughs> Man. What's my best super rare? Probably the diamond melon moose. That was the craziest super rare I've ever killed. Easily. Either that or the Big Rack Albino Red Deer. That was pretty crazy as well. 
That was definitely pretty insane. Oh, he stopped! Man. You better stop stopping when I'm taking shots like that. I had the lead perfect, and then you stopped. Get a load of these fallow deer. Get a load of them. Man. Is the pack out for Xbox? It should be. Oh. Hi. Okay. Why didn't you render in before? Nothing downrange. <laughs> Brobra coming in with the 30 months. Please respond. Gosh, do I really have to respond to Brobra? Uh, I guess I do. Okay. How's it going, Brobra? Hopefully you're doing good. What do I think about the 6.5 Martinson? I like it. I wish it was a little more powerful, but I like it. It used to be my favorite gun just because of how it sounded. CJO, thank you for the 15 months. No, don't respond to him. Respond to me. Do I do I respond to C should I mm, I don't know if I should respond to CJO either. He's kind of a nerd. What's my favorite ultra rare? Well, I don't have an ultra rare, but if I did, my favorite would be the fabled piebald whitetail because it's a fur type you can only get on the great one whitetail. And it's so rare that barely anybody's ever seen it. It's like I could, I could have a, a melanistic Great one as my favorite because nobody's ever killed one. But I kind of like the fact that the fabled piebald is exclusive to the whitetail and it makes me like it more. Moked him. Hey, hi, Def. How's it going? Good to see ya. Isn't there only one confirmed real fabled whitetail? No, there's been at least three or four of them. There's been at least three or four. Uh, we've got one off of console. And then there's been video and codex proof of, I think, three on PC. One of them being a drop tine rack. The other being a big rack that was killed on Revon Tuli. The guy got an entire video on it. And then the other one is just some, is just like some pictures with the codex. So it's a little harder to confirm, but it looked legit as well. I'd say there's at least three on PC and one on console. Actually, wait a minute. The Rev on Thule one was not on PC. That was actually on console now that I think of it. The guy was using a controller, I think. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Hi. The party in there. No, I think it's more rare than that, uh, Shay. I definitely think the chances of getting a fabled piebald is way more rare. I think it's got to be like one in 300. Pebbled Great One White Tail on PS5 is the title. I think so. Yeah, it sounds that sounds right. Sounds like one of them. Hey Nut Butter, how's it going, dude? Nothing. Okay, so that herd's being stubborn. 
Uh, yes, the cam I'm using on the 300 is new. It looks so good, too. This is part of the Medved pack that they just released. Big fan of it. It's probably my favorite of all the new ones. Or at least one of my favorites. It looks so clean. Wait, are you- wait, they put an ultra rare in the release trailer? No way. No way. Do they really? I- I gotta watch that on my phone real quick then. I didn't watch the release trailer. That's crazy. Let's see, where is it? There we go. Let's watch it on the phone. Oh, hey, that's a five. I'm assuming it's a white tail. Oh, I see it now. And of course they made a typical rack. It's like they're taunting me that I can't get that. They're like, let's put the one that Scarecrow will never see in here. Oh, it's a 50-50 rack? Oh, got you. Yeah, I, I, I just have the small thing on my phone. So I couldn't see that it was 50-50. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Man, I would love to get an ultra rare. I know it's very unlikely to ever happen, but man, it would be sick. It'd be so, so cool. It switched racks in the video? Oh no, they probably had to use two different ones then. That's wild. That's pretty funny. 254, that's a diamond. Let's go! Diamond number two of the day. What time tonight? For Tackle Tuesday or what? I'm assuming for Tackle Tuesday. It's going to be 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Poor little fallow deer. Getting smoked. Bear, thank you for the super chat, dude. I look up to you. I'm jeez, dude. I don't even know what to say. That's uh that's pretty awesome. Thank you. And thank you for the super chat once again. You'll see it eventually, I believe in you. Ah, uh, maybe one of these days. What do you guys think? Should our next, our next journey after we get our great one red deer, should our next journey be Tiabaro red deer or should it be the search for the typical rack great one white tail? Because we really do need to try and get that rack. Like, we really need to go for that rack. Didn't know ultra rares were a thing for whitetail. A few people say it's not a thing. Well, the people that say it's not a thing are wrong. Ah! Dude. I love the 44 for these types of situations. <laughs> so good. Also, guys, look at this new, like, oak finish. This has to be one of the best, like, wood grain finish skins they've added. It's so good. Yeah, it's so satisfying to see this gun just drop everything. Just, ah, uh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Yeah, the 44 sounds amazing, too. It definitely does. It's the star of the show for this pack, in my opinion. It's definitely the star of the show. And look at that wood. Like, holy. <laughs> They've really been knocking it out of the park with these skin packs recently. This one's from the Verhanga pack. 
And then this is also in the Verhunga. In my opinion, Verhunga had the best uh, wood finishes. There's also that one from the Parquet Fernando. This is Parquet as well. This one is Medved Taiga. And this is Medved as well. I think we'll go to that one for now. And then for sprays, there's some pretty cool ones. These three are the Parquet ones. And then these are Verhanga. Yeah, Verhanga has some really cool stuff. Like that looks really clean. And then Medved has one of my favorites. This is such a good skin. This looks so good. And then there's this one from Medved. This one from Medved. And now if we go to paints, uh, this is a new Medved one. So is this and this. And I think this was already in the game, but it says that it's news. It says it's from the Medved Taiga, so I think this comes with it. But I think you also get one of these for owning the map. I don't know. There was a few that come with the pack that also are accessible by owning the map. So I don't know which ones are which. There's going to be a couple of these that are old, but this is new for sure. That's Parquet Fernando. This is Parquet. This is Parquet. So is this one. And that one. And then Verhanga has these right here. Couple of nice greens. I definitely like seeing the greens come into the game. Hand paint. It doesn't look tan though. It looks yellow. And then orange. Or no, that's, that's Yukon. The orange is not new. And then in here we've got Medved Multicam. I guess this comes with it too, but this is also one you get from buying Medved. Then there's this one that's new. This is new for Parque Fernando. Uh, this one's... Wait, where is it? This one's been in the game, but again, it comes with the pack as well, I think. Then there's this one, which that looks pretty good. I like it. Now we've got Verhunga Savannah, one of the nicer camo patterns. Then this technically comes with it as well, but again... Or does it come with it? Maybe it doesn't. I know some of these were already in the game. I'm trying to remember what is and what isn't. This one for sure comes with it, though. Which, again, that looks nice. And then everybody's favorite, the wraps. That looks just... Holy crap, that looks incredible. This one also looks really, really good. And the final one is this right here. So a lot of really good skins got added with this update. We're going to go to that, though. Come on. There we go. Potentially change up this as well. <laughs> now nah, we'll just go with that. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to purchase all three of the new skin packs for like a discounted price, but I couldn't find the pack. I could not find it at all. So I don't know if that's actually a thing. I had to buy all of them separately. And they're $3 a piece. And also, I was kind of surprised the uh, Ambusher pack was $5 instead of $4. I'm not sure why. I'm assuming, like, inflation, but definitely kind of caught me off guard. I didn't think it was going to be $5. Somebody took the blue steel too far. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a blue titanium type of, type of skin. I like it a lot, though. Uh, yeah, if you, you can, um, hopefully I said your name right. I've got a playlist on my channel that talks about it. It's got a bunch of different videos that talk about HM for different animals, explain it a little bit better. Um, if you join my Discord, there's a bunch of people that would be willing to help you out. A ton of people that do HM in my Discord, so. That's a couple options for some good, uh, information on it. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? 
What do I think the next great one animal will be? Let's see. I think it's probably going to be either a wild boar or an elk. Personally, I want it to be either an elk, mule deer, or a blacktail deer. But I just feel like it's either going to be an elk or a boar. Boar because it's been requested a lot throughout the years and it's a type of animal we don't currently have a great one for. There is no like antlerless non-predator great one. So I think it would make sense to fill that gap. But I also feel like elk is the most requested. So it's likely to be elk as well because they've really been going off of like the most requested ones. Like fallow deer was always super high up there. So was moose. So was red deer. So was whitetail. The only one that was a curveball was the black bear. Yeah, it's not easy to learn, uh, Ty. Some people think that herd management is like super, super easy, but it is definitely a lot more complex than it may seem at first. But essentially, it's just, you know, leaving the small ones and killing the large ones. I think sometimes, because a lot of us content creators have been doing HM pretty heavily for a while. I feel like we uh, explain things in more complex ways and forget that you don't necessarily need to do all the complex things to get like basic herd management going. I'm going to try and explain it in like the most baseline format of it. Oh, gotcha, Johnny. Yeah, I just read the DM. Yeah, I can do that. I, did, I wish I had known that that's where the bundle was. Or I would have got the bundle. <laughs> no, I didn't drop TV, but we did get a super rare, so... Technically, that's better. Technically, that's tougher to get, so I'm happy with how it turned out. We didn't get our great one, though. Which is why we're still at it. Hoping that we can get it today. Yes, there is a great one bear. Unless you're Scarecrow, then you go like over 10,000 kills and only see one of them. With the bundle, you save $3? Jeez, man, I could have saved $3. Bam, thank you for the four months. Really appreciate it, dude. Sadly, we have not got a great one yet, but hopefully we can soon, man. We're hoping today will be the day. Great one, Bear. Who would hunt those? I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Leo. Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Ow. So is that doe. That doe's crazy. We got a psycho doe running us over. Holy. Okay, so back to what I was saying before I got uh, sidetracked. Essentially, like, the, the basic explanation of herd management in the most simple form that I can think of is I'll use fallow as an example every time a level two or a small level three about the same size as that two uh, spawns on your map you leave it anything on your map that's larger than that you kill eventually over the course of probably a few hundred to over a thousand kills you will start to notice that you will have a massively increased amount of low levels and the remaining ones that are still above that lower threshold will more commonly be spawning as larger males. That's essentially like the simplified version of it. Just never shoot the level twos or the really tiny threes 
and you're doing herd management. Now, it's going to take longer that way than it would if you're stacking level fives and picking specific zones as your main ones. But you can get results from herd management by just leaving the smaller ones. So only kill large three to nine. Well, no, no, no. That would be for a different species. We're talking about fallow deer right now, which only go to level five. It's going to be different depending on the species. The general rule of thumb is if the animal goes to level five, leave twos and ones and sometimes small threes. If the animal goes to level three, just leave the level ones. And if the animal goes to level nine, leave fours and below. That's like the simplified way of uh, doing it. That's our one that we leave there. Hopefully, Sam. Do Melorockies exist in Call of the Wild? No, they don't, sadly. Not sure why. Leucistic doesn't exist either, but in the Hunter Classic, they have Leucistic ones, so... I don't know. The Rockies are kind of lacking in rares. I mean, they got a really pretty albino and two different piebald patterns, but... It's not much considering what a lot of the other species have. Yes, alligators are on the collar. However, crocodiles are not for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, no, Gamer Guac, that does not ruin anything. You can, you could be doing two grinds on your map at once and they wouldn't affect each other. Any simplified version of stacking, because I really struggled to understand understand how to do great one. Like, okay, so I'll I'll try to simplify it as much. Oh, what the three here? I I don't ever have three here. Holy, that's wild. Three of them there. But yeah, a simplified explanation of stacking. Throughout your grind, you want to pick out zones that you really, really like. And I'm sure you'll just do that naturally by having certain zones that are your favorites that you really like to hunt because they're either reliable or have a lot of deer or get their respawns fast. You want to pick out some of those favorite zones. And whenever you've got a zone that you really, really like, if you get a level 5 to spawn, or I guess whatever the diamond level is for that species, if you get it to spawn in that zone that you really, really like, leave it there. And what that does is it raises the average score of that species and will make it a little bit easier to get some of those lower levels in other zones faster. I think that was the most simplified I can explain it. Hopefully that helped. That's a big estimate. That is a big estimate for a four. Oh no, unlucky grinder. Oh no. That's a chocolate. Any tips on how to have better hunts on Layton? Uh, that's pretty generalized. Um, hunt near water. That's like a universal tip for any hunt. Hunt near water, you'll probably find more animals. No, it wasn't that you bothered me, Lone Turk. It's just that I responded to you three times and you didn't respond back. And then kept asking the same question. That's why I was annoyed. Because <laughs> I told you three different times to just uh, to just ask me what you were wanting to ask me. Instead of asking if you can ask me. Hey, Faded, how's it going, dude? Good old Faded. 
Should I shoot my possible diamond level four or should I keep them for stacking? I would shoot the fours just because you can't really guarantee that it's going to be a diamond. I would just stick with saving back fives. And in some cases, you might even want to shoot the fives that are going to be troll rack. Two shots. He's going down. And he's out of here. You're out of here. Two thirty-eight, one ninety-one, and that guy's tiny, so he's not going to be anything crazy. Nice four there. Gotcha, Lone. Gotcha. What is the best gun for Red Deer? If you want to get full score, probably 7mm. 303 or 308 really depends on your preference. If you want faster shots or if you want more power. Uh, if you don't care about getting full score, just blast everything with a 300 until you find a diamond or a rare. Then shoot it with a, the proper caliber, obviously. What time do Fallow Deer drink? 10 to 13, isn't it? Yes, it is 10 to 13. What do I rate the new DLC? Ah, uh, probably 7 out of 10. Maybe 6 out of 10 even, because it's not the greatest thing they've ever released, but it's got some uses. It's got some things that are really fun with it. Like, for example, the 44 Magnum lever action is a powerhouse, but it's got a limited range. Really only is effective out to like 200 meters. If you go past then, it's going to be a toss-up as to whether or not you can consistently hit shots. But at close range, it's a powerhouse. Uh, the collar is a lot of fun to use, but it's not going to be useful for every situation. It's a situational type of thing. And then the bow, I mean, it, it, it feels like another bow. It just looks different, and it's the only... Like recurve that can have a sight on it. So I wouldn't say it's the greatest thing they've ever released, but it's not bad either. Like it's got some fun uses for it, for sure. Yeah, they definitely need to increase the uh, collar range as well as reducing the weight of the collar. That's a five. Let me out. Okay, that one is floating. Is Australia any good for fallow? Um, out of the three fallow maps, it's probably the second best. It's better than Hirsch, but it's nowhere near being as good as Tiabaroa. What skin do I have on the 308? Uh, this is one of the new skins from the Medved Taiga skin pack. Diamond, let's go. Looking beautiful. Yeah, I go back and forth between the Hyperion and the Argus. It's really dependent on the situation and how I feel. Some days I just feel like using one scope over the other. I don't really have a specific scope that I use over the other. I, I kind of go back and forth. Use both of them a lot. Jeez, we are ripping through these fallow today. 
grab this guy first. I have three dimes on my map. HM is done taking a snooze. Nice, Caitlin. Nice. That is awesome. You'll love to see it. That's just how it is sometimes. You know, you go on streaks where things are acting a little weird and then all of a sudden it's back to normal again. Uh, the 300 Magnum comes from the Yukon DLC. Once a min estimate of 259. That is not bad. That could be a giant. That could be a giant. Is there any way to get diamond lions to spawn quickly? Already got a spot to hunt them? Um, if you just, if you want it quickly, just only shoot the higher level lions. Shoot the lions that are like level, probably level six and above. Because I think, what's the lowest level male lions can be, guys? I'm trying to think of what the levels for HM would be on a lion. Lions go down to level three, right? Or is it two? I think it's three. Level three, but fours are more common. Okay, so if you're managing lions, you would probably leave... You would probably leave uh, five and below then. Maybe. Because I rarely see level four or three lions. Man, lions would actually be so strange to HM. They've got such a weird, like, uh range of scores or not scores but levels yeah I, same for mountain lines too both those would be really interesting to hm very very interesting What was my first diamond? My first ever diamond was a red deer off of Parque Fernando. Should I switch to HM because I'm 8,000 kills in my fallow grind? Super unlucky. Uh, if you feel like that's the, the right move, then definitely. It's a, it can be a really fun way to switch things up, and it also can be a good way to keep you more interested on a grind. And there's a pretty decent chance that it might at least increase your chances of a great one a little bit. It certainly seems like it does for some species, especially fallow deer and moose. 257. Beautiful. Ooh, what a shot. Under the dough and into the buck. Did you shoot at 143 to 181 level 3 fallow? Um, it's going to be hard for me to know without looking at the antlers. Usually I try to keep any fallow that's below 150. So without seeing the rack, just knowing the estimate, it's hard for me to tell, but I'd say it's likely that that one's fine to shoot nice call the wild R that must have been a crazy crazy thing to see I can only imagine how wild that would be finding a great one that you barely even shot anything from Took a break from my moose grind because I'm at 3k without a great one. Ooh, rough. 
Yeah, the average for moose is like between 500 and 1500, so that's definitely a rough grind. I had one moose grind that was similar. I had a medved grind that was 4200 kills. And then eventually I gave up on the medved grind, went to Rev on Thule, and got a great one in like 300 kills. Got a great one before my first time in Whitetail. That's pretty crazy, man. That's not a common thing to have happen. That's definitely pretty, pretty difficult. What rare do you think will do it? Hmm. My prediction is if you're doing a super rare croc grind, you're probably going to get a piebald super rare. That would be my prediction. You're probably going to get a piebald one. Because I think they're the most common. No buck there. You got your great one in like 100 kills? Very, very lucky. Well, if you're doing herd management, then that is pretty low for Diamond Count Emery. If you're not doing herd management, that's pretty average. That's pretty normal. Oh. We're now at 1,044 kills. Hey, Mr. Call of the Wild. Uh, you missed a few diamonds. That's about it. Nothing too crazy today. But we're not that far into the stream. We've killed maybe like... I don't know. 70-ish... Maybe 80-ish fallow. Nothing crazy so far. Popping up in that uh in that range. Hopefully soon though. Okay, that's the new one there. Not the doe, but the buck. Hopefully, Sam. Hopefully. Thought you would get your great one sooner. I know. We got spoiled early on with the fallow grinds. That's a nice five. We got spoiled a lot really early on. Getting so many quick grinds for fallow. Now it's finally catching up to us. This is two grinds in a row where it's been over a thousand. Come on. There, that got their attention. Uh. What? Huh? Ghost bullets. I went right through him. Didn't even hit him. I'm doing pretty good so far, Clay Drew. Love the Matrix bullets. Oh, it's great. I love taking a shot and the, the deer just looks at me like, did you shoot? Man. That sucks. Oh, well. What'd you miss? Nothing crazy so far. How long does it take for fallow deer to respawn? They respawn pretty quickly. Uh, the big problem is that if their herd is still spooked from your shots, they're not going to come back until they're not spooked anymore. Which is why you see me go to the main menu a lot. To get them to their zone and unspooked. Come on, fallow deer. Where's the other herd? I know you're there. Hey, 
Hey, cool guy, how's it going? And no, she's too young. That would be a choking hazard. What was my 50th great one? It was a fallow deer with the fabled painted fur type and the Irish elk rack. Hey, cowboy, how's it going? What are the odds for the big rack fallow great one? Uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. I mean, there's only four racks, so you got a 25% chance, probably. Is the 30 out 6 good? Yeah, it's a solid rifle. It is not bad at all. Nice, Banner Man. That's awesome. Love to see it. Love to see it. You have nothing but Irish elk rack fallow. Yeah, those things pop up a lot. I think the ones that I have the most of is Irish elk rack and spoon rack. I think I've got three of each. And I've got one big rack and two blade rack. Nothing there. Come on, Call of the Wild. Give us the big males. She's like two and a half, Bear. No male there either. Yeah, our deer are being strange. They're being very strange. Want a big rack mocha silver painted? That would look so good, man. My only big rack is a painted, which I'm very happy about, but I would love to get a fabled mocha or silver with that rack. It would just be so crazy looking. Nothing here. I Wow, three zones in a row. And our bucks aren't there. Crazy. What are the odds of them adding a great one bison? Probably pretty low. At least in the near future. Because it's not really that requested. What great one would I not want? Um... Gray Fox. Gray Fox for sure, because that would mean I would be forced to either grind on New England or Mississippi. That is the species that I would want the least as a great one. I just couldn't see that being fun. <laughs> There's that five we missed last time. You think one day they'll add a great one mule deer? I hope so. It's uh, one of the most requested great ones ever. Dude, that five has a really big estimate. I just realized 265 minimum. It's actually pretty massive. Could that potentially be a 270 plus? It could be. I don't know if he's wide enough, but he looks massive. Hey, stop hitting me. Gosh. Ah, it looks good, but I don't think it's going to be 270. Oh my gosh, it was so close. 269.77. You got to be joking. That was so close to breaking the 270 mark. I mean, that's taxable. That's big enough to tax for sure. Wow, look at that monster fallow. He's a beast. He is an absolute beast of a buck. Yeah, it's crazy, guys. That is actually pretty crazy.
That guy's a giant. What's my biggest diamond fallow? Like 270 points something. Uh, one of the moderators can drop it in chat, Lone. Like how the big ones like that have a rounded look? Like you could fit a ball in those antlers? Yeah, they definitely do. They look pretty insane. Alright, let's reload. Just found a diamond mule deer. Nice, dude. Nice. All right, three dead. Better than not having three dead, I guess. I did miss one, though. Did miss one. Isvan, thank you so much for the 13 months, man. Welcome back. 13 months as a member. Holy. 276 is max reported. Interesting. It's definitely not the max reported. That's an old scoring. That's old scoring for sure. They updated the scoring when they added the great one... Fallow deer. Hey Grant, how's it going, dude? Is there a herd management guide for fallow deer out yet? Oh, I've had one out for quite a while. I think I put one out the week of the Fallow Deer Great one. Just look in the herd management playlist that I've got here on the channel. The video that I've got the guide in is one of the videos where we got a couple Great One Fallow. It'll be in that playlist. Vikings, thank you for the super chat, man. Much appreciated. Or is that a super sticker? I think it's a super sticker. Would I prefer a 300 plus moose or a 270 plus fallow? Oh, the fallow for sure. They're a lot more rare than a 300 moose. Guaranteed troll five. You know what? He's guaranteed to troll, so. 256 away. We get that. Also, I did not see that guy. Well, we'll get him next run. We actually got him, by the way. We got that five somehow vitally. Crazy. I did not think we would hit that. But we did. Barely got him on the first shot. Took a couple shots, but we did it. We did it. Barry, thank you so much for the super chat. Again, congrats with the Mela Super Air Crow. Let's summon the great one today. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we can get that great one to show. Come on, Mr. Great One. We need you so bad. Look across. The herd is not here. I'm assuming that was uh, pre the updated scoring, uh, Zane. Because, yeah, Whitetail used to get pretty big, but they don't anymore. Can feel it, man. You'll get one soon. Your time is coming for a great one. Hopefully. We've been on a bad streak recently. Aside from our 50th great one, 
which was a fallow deer. We haven't had many great ones in the last month. Let me check how many great ones we've had in the last month. It's been kind of slow. To be fair, I guess I haven't been grinding them as often. It's been a minimum two weeks since our 50th great one showed. Minimum two weeks. Let's see. And yeah, the, the last one before that was August 22nd, and it was the 50-50 Rack Moose. We've been on kind of a dry streak for great ones. I mean, I'll take the super rares we've been getting, but... Not many great ones. Considering how many kills we've been putting in, given it's not as much as normal, we've still put in at least five or 6,000 kills across the last month in all species, whether it be bear, fallow, or red deer. Got two fallow there. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Sam. Definitely. That's the biggest that I've heard of as well. I don't think they get any bigger than that. Is your favorite trophy still the Mellow Pheasant? It is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I like it more than probably half of my great ones, at least. That Mellow Pheasant is just so beautiful. And I rarely see anybody get them. Is the 44 a handgun or a rifle? It's a rifle. It is a lever action rifle. It's really good. I kind of wish the range on it was a little bit higher, but it is what it is. It's still quite solid. Oh, little fallow. I mean, all you gotta do is listen for a couple minutes, Sullivan, and you'll know that I'm replying to messages in chat. Gotcha, Zane, gotcha. Yeah, they, they've gone through a lot of changes. Whitetails score differently than they used to, so do moose, so do uh, fallow deer. All of them have been changed and adjusted a decent bit. A max score great one or a max score super rare? What would I prefer? Um, probably the max scoring super rare. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably. Because I've already got a max scoring great one. I have a max score great one bear. So I've already achieved that. So I would rather have a max score super rare. I've got a max weight super rare red deer, but it was nowhere near like being as high as they can score. It was actually quite low scoring for the rack. Yeah, I'd love to get a uh, max score or close to max score. Super rare. That'd be crazy, dude. That'd be so crazy. <laughs> you got three different bears, though, Caitlin. You got three bears. I only got one. Oh, there they are. Hello, you silly fallow. How many shootable males should I have in my main zones for fallow? 
I like to get at least 10 of them for fallow deer. Ideally, like 15 to 20, but that's really only achievable if you manage down your map like super, super well. Like, for example, I could never be shooting like 20 deer per run because I've got too many solos that I've left as like mid to large threes just because they were annoying to chase. Like, if I managed all of those down, I could probably be shooting 20 fallow a run. But unfortunately, I only get like 9 to 12 per run. And it seems to work out fine for me, so... I think you really only need that many. But I would try to shoot for 15 if you can. What diamond do I like more, the moose or red deer? Oh, definitely the red deer. I've always really liked red deer. I'm a little biased, but love it. Is the ambusher pack actually out? Yes, it is. It came out today. Nothing crazy there. You should make an IRL channel like behind the scenes. Um, I don't know if I want to do IRL content. I kind of like to keep my like IRL stuff private. However, I do have a second channel where I do like other games and sometimes like card openings. So if you haven't, I'd recommend checking that out. Just forewarning, it's an uncensored channel, so there is cursing and stuff, unlike my main channel. How come these four red deer haven't respawned as a bigger one? Are you trying to, like, get some fours to show up as something better? Um, I don't know, man. Just unlucky, I guess. Ah, uh, let me think, Charlie. New prediction, 1427. What are my video settings for Call of the Wild? I can show you real quickly. There we go. Most of it's on Ultra. Aside from a few things, like... I have Fog turned off. Contact Shadows. Super Resolution, Motion Blur, all that's off. Heat Haze is off. Depth of Field is off. Everything else is on and maxed out. How far do I put a tent from a zone? Around like 200 to 250 away is what most people like to do. Is cursing a bannable offense? Like uh, here on the main channel in the chat? Um, only if it's extreme. Like, if it's excessive, then yeah. But you'll get warned before anything. You always get a warning. Unless you're, like, just blatantly racist or something. Typically, you'll get a warning before getting banned for anything. But, like, mild cursing in the chat's fine. Just not, like, F-bombs every sentence. Because I got, I got a lot of young people that watch the channel. There's a lot of kids that watch the streams here. Uh, which is why I choose not to curse on my main channel. I think there will be a legendary boot in the angler. <laughs> be hilarious. That'd be great. You can just catch a boot. <laughs> 
That'd be so fun. That'd be sick. What is my favorite great one that I have? Gosh, it's so tough to choose. I don't I don't know what my overall favorite is. Um maybe my bear because it's max score and it's fabled cream. Um What else? I like the 50-50 rack moose that I got. Uh my two-tone moose is one of my favorites as well. Fabled Mocha Fallow is also one of my favorites. Um, I've got two different whitetail that actually there's so many whitetail I like. Man, I don't know if I can choose like a favorite favorite. It's hard to even choose a top five. It's so tough to even choose a top five. Cause like I've got at least three or four whitetail great ones that I really, really like. Like really wonky ones, ones with super squished racks. Like there's so many that I really like. Let's hope that's not a diamond four. Let's hope it's not. Please don't be a diamond four. I just blasted him with the 300. We're, we're taking that risk right now. We're going for speed. Speed, agility, bullets flying down range, dead fallow deer, all the above. Yeah, the two-tone moose is, it's definitely one of my favorites of all time. Primarily because it wasn't just a two-tone moose, but it also had one of my favorite racks. Okay, good. That wasn't a diamond. What great one is my favorite? I like the moose the most. Moose are just so beautiful. Yeah, mine's definitely the moose, uh, Gamer Guac. Definitely the moose. Did add an on-screen counter? I would, but I've already got a bunch of, like, counters and stuff on stream. I don't want to add another. It'll just clutter things up. I am, like, very picky with the way my overlay looks. I want it to be even. I don't want it to be, like, off-balance or off-centered to one side. Which is why I don't have the on-screen, like, current grind counter. They've made the bear grind harder in this update, I promise you. They definitely have not touched bears, I can tell you that. They definitely have not touched the bears. The bear grind was already tough. It's just been like that for a long time. There's a reason that so few people go for them. There we go. Will I do a great one black bear grind? I mean, we're still doing one. We haven't stopped doing it. We've just been on a break from it. All right, we're going to do the thing. Ready for this? Boom. Little trick to get him to turn. If there's uh, only one deer there that you're trying to shoot. And they're facing away from you. Just shoot next to them and they will turn broadside briefly. If you're fast enough, you can make the shot. Just like that. <laughs> he barely made it. 250.80. That is so, so close to not making it. TTK, what's up, dude? 
You have 919,000 on Call of the Wild. Last time you played, you only had 200k. I'm so confused. That is really strange. Let me check mine. Mm, mine's the same. I'm still at 16 and a half mil. That did not change mine at all. If anything, I've lost a little bit from time resets on Fallow Tier. Two more down. Let's go. Don't know if it's just a visual bug or what. I don't think it's a visual bug. I think it probably is like that. There's been times in the past where um, updates have changed the amount of money that people have. Nobody knows why, really. It just seems that occasionally it'll do that for some people. You have to get the great one, Whitetail, on a map that you have to get a great one. Wait. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, so I'll just answer in a few different ways. You can get a great one, Whitetail, on any map that has Whitetail. Um, you don't have to have a great one on the map to get another great one to spawn. But you can get a second one to spawn with the first one being on the map. Uh... Just shoot Whitetail and you got a chance at getting a great one to spawn. There, I answered three different questions because I wasn't quite sure what you meant. Hopefully, hopefully that, hopefully one of those covered it. Hopefully one of those covered it. Oh man, Aussie, that's rough. That's rough. If you've got uh, pictures of that, be sure to post them in the Discord. I don't think anybody's ever posted a 50-50 two-tone moose. Should they make a Midwest SLX? Not quite sure what you mean by it. Is that like a vehicle or something? Hey, Andrew, how's it going? Maybe. That'd be awesome. Oh, DLC is what you meant. Okay. Midwest DLC. I don't know if they do a map in the Midwest because we've already got so many US maps. And almost every time they've done a US map, in the last uh, few years, people have complained that it's another U.S. map. So I, I think they're probably done with U.S. maps. Is the new lever action good for Red Deer? I have not tried it on them, but I would assume it's probably pretty good. If you can get close enough. Little fallow deer. What reserve am I grinding on? I'm grinding on Tiabaroa. Um, I didn't, Sullivan. I don't do any of that myself. That's that's not uh not what I do. I'm just here replying to chat and shooting fallow deer. Two seventeen. Oh, it does, Johnny. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, it was likely one of the moderators, Sullivan. So you'd have to you'd have to ask them the reasoning behind it. Because uh, I didn't see. Do you think a BC map would be good? Yes, I would love a British Columbia map. Like, if we're going to have another North America map, British Columbia is my pick for sure. They could do some cool stuff like Doll Sheep, Sitka Black Tail. I think Doll Sheep are there. I could be wrong. But they could do Sitka Black Tail, which is a pretty, pretty big thing that I want in the game. Approaching 1,100 kills. Yeah, definitely. South America or a new Africa map would be really cool. Really cool. I like 
Went to say really good and really cool at the same time. Didn't didn't turn out good. And this is why talking slow can be beneficial sometimes. What DLC map do I want? Uh, there's a few of them. I'd like to see a Texas Game Ranch most. I would also like to see a new Africa map. Um, I'd like to see an Asia map. And I would also really, really badly want to see British Columbia. All those maps are ones that I would love to see in the game. I think they would all have a place in the game. They'd be able to give us something different than what we currently have. There's so many options in those areas. Oh, I want more sheep too. It'd be great to see more. It's kind of crazy to think we only have two sheep species. We've got Mouflon and Bighorn. We definitely need more stuff like stone sheep, doll sheep, the Marco Polo sheep. Isn't there like a like a red sheep as well? I think there's like a red sheep. There's a lot of different sheep species. And they all are super, super cool. Great one in three, two, one. Maybe, Grant. Maybe. That'd be cool. Yeah, Snow Sheep too. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about them. Now, oddly enough, I think Stone Sheep's the one that I would want the most the more I think about it. I think I'd like Stone Sheep over Doll Sheep even. Just because there's not really a hunting game that has Stone Sheep. Aside from like maybe some of the Cabela's games, but they're pretty old at this point. What is the best reserve? I mean, you're going to get a different answer depending on who you ask. My personal favorite is Emerald Coast. I think it's really good. I also really like Revon Tule Coast, Tiabaroa, Silver Ridge Peaks. They're all phenomenal maps. Still going for Fallow? Yeah, we're trying to get a great one to show up. I'm on such a dry streak for great ones that I just, I just want to get one to show, man. That's a big boy four. That could be a diamond four. It looks like it's shaped a little different than the troll ones. Or not troll, but the 230s rack. That thing looks bigger for sure. Hey, Hex, dude. It's going good. Going quite well. Having fun. It's another big boy four there. I'm back here. I, I was right. I knew it looked large. I knew he looked big. Let's go. I knew he looked big. He's kind of wonky too. Ah, nah, never mind. He's not wonky. Just, or maybe he is. Oh, he is. He's wonky. He's definitely a little wonky. Not bad. Cool little dime. I think I upped the diamond counter, didn't I? Yeah, I definitely did. I definitely added to it. Aren't we all just a little wonky? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I know I am. There we go. We're all a little strange. That's just how life is, you know? What is the best map for Whitetail? Uh, there's two that are really good. Rev on Tule Coast and Leighton Lakes. Not quite a dime. What do I usually stream? Uh, this game right here. 
I do a lot of streaming on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I also stream Call of the Wild the Angler. Occasionally the Hunter Classic, but it's rare. And occasionally Way of the Hunter, but it's also quite rare. Um, and then I stream some other games on my second channel, like Escape from Tarkov, survival games, first-person shooters. So between both channels, I stream a lot of different things. And that's 1,100 kills on the grind. Ooh. Oh, he did, Johnny? Well, that's... Yeah, I'd say that's definitely beatable, but how beatable is it? That's the question. Nailed him. This zone is so good. I love it. It's also where we've got most of our great ones to spawn. What is my opinion on a UK map like England or Scotland? Um, honestly, what it really comes down to for me is if they can add new animals that are interesting, then I'm all for it. I don't really care where the maps are located as long as we can get new animals that are fun to hunt. That's what matters to me the most. Eleven hundred more to go. Hopefully not. Hopefully we don't have another twenty-two hundred kill grind. What PC do I have? It's a custom built from Ironside PCs. What are the odds they will add a Mongolian map? I don't know. What's the uh, hunting laws like in Mongolia? Because I, I know a lot of it, they have to base off of what the IRL hunting laws are. If, if it's a place where you're not allowed to hunt in real life, then they typically don't make a map on it. That's a big boy five. That's a big boy five. Beautiful. You didn't miss anything, uh, Colin. Just level fives. Like this one right here. What's my least favorite? Least favorite what? Can I play more prehistoric hunt? I actually have some prehistoric hunt footage ready to go into a video. I just need to edit it all together. Hello. That's a five. Control five. Control rack five. You hate to see it. You also hate to see those shots. Ooh, that was rough. That was rough. Oh, you meant to say least favorite map. Uh, New England Mountains. New England Mountains for sure. It just didn't really offer anything new when they released it. It was all reused species aside from the Greenwing Teal. And it's one of the brushiest maps in the game. The animals are super spread out, making it really difficult to, like, locate all of your animals of a specific species. The one redeeming quality of it is that it's really good for small game like uh, raccoons and fox. I'm just not a Miss or I'm just not a uh, New England fan. Mississippi is a close second, but I feel like even Mississippi is more enjoyable. Primarily because it's actually a decent bear map. It's a fun map to hunt turkeys on. Uh, the gators are a lot of fun and pretty unique. So it's got more redeeming qualities than New England, in my opinion. Yeah, true, Johnny, true. True. <laughs> Favorite Fallow Great One combo? The Blade Rack Mocha, for sure. Fabled Mocha Blade Rack just looks so stunning. We're here again. Holy. Let's go. 
Let's go. You love to see it. Oh, let's go. This is my don't let him get away gun. Island cows, red deer, roe deer, hedgehogs, foxes, skunks, wolves, new species of sheep. I think would be cool. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. If they could do stuff like that, then I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, like as long as they can make new animals and a decent amount of them, I'm down for any map. What's my favorite super rare? Uh, favorite one? Probably that, uh, probably that diamond albino big rack red deer. I think that's gotta be my favorite. That was like one of my dream trophies. Definitely like one of the craziest things ever. I love that thing. Over the Mellow Moose? Yes. The Mellow Moose is my rarest, but it's definitely not my favorite. Because I don't like Moose as much as I do Red Deer, Fallow, Whitetail. I like the Moose Great one the most, but I don't like the other Moose as much. That's the thing. Like, I... The Moose Great one is my favorite Great one in the game. Because it has so much variety, and they just did such a good job on the Furs and the Antlers. But like the normal moose, I'm not a huge fan of them. Like they're good, but they're not, they're not my favorite. Like if we completely remove the great ones from the equation, I would hunt red deer, fallow deer, and whitetail over moose any day. But then you add the great one into the equation and moose definitely have the best great one. Yeah, I like the I like my super rare red deer better, for sure. Cause red deer has always been one of my favorites. Always been one of my favorite species. I think the diamonds look ridiculously insane. And both the albino and mellow red deer are just so stunning. So anytime you can get a super rare one, it's like just oof. Incredible. Chef's kiss. It is just chef's kiss. Guaranteed troll five. Get smoked. We're now at 1111 kills. 1111. Make a wish. I wish for a great one. All right, later, Johnny. See you on uh, Tackle Tuesday. You really hope we'll get a massive backfill update in December instead of a new map? That would actually be kind of crazy. If they just like improved all the existing maps instead of adding a new one. That would actually be pretty wild. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at it. I'd say that would definitely be like still a really good update. It's hard to say though. I'd say it's unlikely, but that would be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind them just improving all the existing maps with more species. What's for Tackle Tuesday today? It should be Cutthroat Trout. And we're starting the brand new season of Tackle Tuesday as well. So we're going to have... Uh, we got a few new people competing in it. We got a whole new scoring system for Tackle Tuesday. going to be fun. Nate has been working on getting everything situated for it pretty much all day yesterday. Getting like the uh, scoring, the scoreboard designed, getting... Um, flyers made and stuff, like, making everything look nice. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Maybe, maybe we can take home the win on the first, uh, the first Tackle Tuesday of this season.
That could be a diamond four there. That could be. Nice, Elk Hunter. Love to see it, dude. Not a dime. What great one do I want them to add? Uh, let's see. Elk, mule deer, black tail deer, lion, hay buffalo, rooster deer, seeker deer. I'd love to see all those for sure. I'm sure there's others as well that I could think of. What else would be pretty sick? Kangaroo, that would be wild. Banting would also be crazy. Rocks? Gators? Yeah, all those would be really cool, great ones, I think. Nothing there. Okay, so last three zones had nothing. What is Tackle Tuesday? It's a competition that myself, Brobra, uh, Nate, and a bunch of other people do for Call of the Wild the Angler. Brober originally came up with it and he's been doing it for a long time at this point and we competed in it every single week. It's kind of like a competition among friends, you know? That's the best way to describe it. It's a competition among friends in Call of the Wild the Angler. Which is Expansive World's fishing game. I think a cool addition to the game would be like your gun jamming. That'd be interesting. That could be uh, like an interesting way to add a whole extra element to it. Like if you don't properly clean your gun, it doesn't work properly. Although I could see some people getting annoyed with that. Since Call of the Wild isn't like a hyper realistic hunting game. Why don't I have Tia Aroa fully discovered? Because it's not really needed. I don't need to. I feel like it's just kind of a waste of time to drive up to this lookout tower here when I've already got the majority of the map revealed just from exploring it. Like, why take time away from shooting Fallow when I'm on Tia Aroa? When I could just keep shooting them and it not be a problem. What are the odds of a great one Gemsbok? I don't know. I'd say it's pretty unlikely that we would get that anytime soon. It's not a very highly requested thing. I couldn't see it happening anytime soon. I mean, a long time ago, they said they wanted to eventually get a great one for the majority of species, so... It'll probably happen someday, but I don't think it'll be one of the first ones. I think there's a lot of other species that they would do first, including stuff on Verhonga. I feel like we would get Cape Buffalo and Lion way before we would get any other Verhonga great one. What do I hate more, Hirsch or Mississippi? Oh, Mississippi easily. Hirsch is actually not bad if you know where to hunt. And it's probably the best pheasant map in the game. Hirsch is quite a bit of fun if you hunt the fields. Yeah, definitely Megatron. I do like that type of a uh, approach. Could you imagine if for like a mountain lion, they just did kind of like a like a saber tooth cat type of looking great one? Like it's a mountain lion, but it's got excessively large fangs. That'd be pretty crazy.
237. You think they should add suppressors? Yeah, that'd be cool. What I'd like to see added to the Hunter in the future? Oh, a lot of things. I'd like to see a lot of things added. I don't even know where to begin. Hey, that's a big five. That's a solid five there. Mid rack, I think. Got him. Name one. Well, I'd love to see the pure David's deer get added to the game. I'd also like to see trail cams. Obviously more great ones. Texas game ranch map. More calibers, more larger calibers. Stuff like the 416, 375, 460, 500 Magnum, stuff like that. Uh, the list goes on. Oh, that's new. That's a new three. That is not our solo. Our solo has a lower estimate of 129. I don't know if I would ever do a Hirschfeld and Great One grind. I tried it once for Fallow Deer and it was awful. It was awful. So I don't think I would do a Hirsch grind. Not willingly, at least. Because <laughs> it was just, it was just miserable. And I know a few people that have done grinds on Hirsch and the majority of them despise it. There's only like one person that I can think of that was like, yeah, it was great. How many donations would it take? I don't think I would even put a, a monetary value on making me grind Hirschfelden. I would, I would hate the Hirsch grind that much. I couldn't put a monetary value on it. Yeah, didn't Pro XCK do a uh, a grind on Hirsch for Red Deer? Or something like that? I think it was Red Deer. Absolute mad lad doing that. That's just crazy. They should add a 30 out 6 AR. Ooh, that'd be sick. That'd be so sick. It'd be very similar to the 308 AR. you think a Hirsch grind would be better than Mississippi? No, I actually don't think it'd be better than Mississippi. I do think Mississippi would be easier to do a great one grind on because the bears are not that bad on Mississippi. They're actually pretty limited in their range, which can make it decently easy to get them working pretty well on Mississippi. Ooh, big boy five, 265 minimum estimate. We got another shot at a potential 270 plus fallow here. We had a 269.77 earlier today. Can we top that? Does the new lever action have bad range? I mean, it's not insane range. I mean, it's a lever action. It's not going to have like crazy, crazy range. Oh, it's right here. 267.78. Jeez. He thick. He thick. That's a big male. How would I rank all of the Great One Moose? 
Gosh, there's like 24 combos or something crazy like that. I don't know if I can rank, rank all of them. I'll rank all of the antlers and all of the furs separately instead. Out of the furs, I think my favorite is definitely the birch, then two-tone, then fabled speckled, then the probably spruce, then the oak, and then the ashen. And then for the antlers, my favorite is the big typical rack. Second favorite is the giant non-tip. Third would be the, what's it called? Spider rack. And fourth would be the quad paddle. Ah, uh, I can't believe I missed the first shot on him. Thank you. Thank you, Call of the Wild. You love to see it. Another one bites the dust. What's my biggest white tail? I believe it's the same as that, uh, Andrew Richardson. I think it's the same. I think it's exactly the same as yours. Rip, TTK. <laughs> uh, it happens. He made diamond. Boom. Not gonna lie, I didn't see it was mid-rack. I thought that was small rack. Brand new to the game, what video should I watch to learn more about Call of the Wild? I would recommend checking out my beginner's playlist. I've got a beginner's guide playthrough that I did. I also have a new account playthrough. Both of those should be helpful. I think the new account playthrough is more up to date. Uh, if you go to the playlists on my channel, they will all be in a playlist. In fact, actually, there it is in chat. Thank you, uh, TTK, for putting that in the chat. But yeah, that first link in chat is the Beginner's Guide playthrough. The second one is my guides playlist. Both should have a lot of info. What am I taking the great one with? I imagine the new rifle or bow. If it's not that, what are you think taking it with? It's going to be one of those. Probably the new rifle. But I'm also considering the new bow. Because both would be really, really fun to take it down with. We already took that super rare down with the rifle, so I'm thinking about using the bow for the great one whenever he decides to spawn. We're at 1,128 kills right now on the grind. So it may be maybe a bit before that great one spawns. Any stragglers over here? Nope, no stragglers. Colors heavy enough, just throw it at the great one. Yeah, you're right. That'll kill it. <laughs> That'll get him good. They really need to reduce the weight of that collar. <laughs> they really do. All right, Clay Drew, just don't land a diamond cutthroat before the comp. You want to catch it in front of Brobra, you know? You want to catch it in front of Brobra. That way he's like, ah, oh, man. So sa save your diamonds for tonight so you can catch it in front of Brobra. What is the best spot on the map for fallow deer? Uh, ooh, that's big. You can find fallow deer on like this entire segment of the map. Everybody's map is going to be a little bit different. So yours may be in slightly different areas, but they will always be within that range because that's where fallow deer can be. But as far as where your individual zones will be, it's going to differ from person to person. So the best thing to do is just search that area during their drink time and keep track of where all your zones are.
When are we going to get a great one, man? We're at like double the normal kill count for our fallow grinds. We're having a little bit of a bad luck streak recently. Welcome back, uh, Brober's Grandpa. <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess. I'm going to guess that that's Gavin, right? Is it Gavin that changed his name to Brober's Grandpa? I think it's it's got to be. It's got to be. Because you were the only person I saw in chat. Okay, I, I thought so. I was going to say, you were the only person I saw in chat last night with a red badge. Right before Brober's gr Grandpa showed up. <laughs> I had a feeling... Can I do a lion hunt? Uh, we did a lion hunt not that long ago. If you check out the recent videos on the channel, I hunted them with a brand new collar. And it was a lot of fun. Alright, let's do it. For all of the members in the chat, let's get the 10 fabled emotes in the chat. We need to summon the great one. Because he's being stubborn. He's just being flat out rude. Um, I don't remember how big the update is, uh, typical JC. Because I uninstall the entire game before uh, downloading a new update. I always just reinstall the game. Get a clean install. Because a lot of times, on Steam at least, the update can take a long time to patch into the game. And it, for me, it's just my internet's fast enough to where it's quicker to reinstall it is. Or, gosh, I can't speak. It's, it's faster to reinstall it for me than it is to just click update. Because then it has to patch everything and write everything to the disk, overwrite the old stuff, and it just takes forever. So I always reinstall the whole game. Because then it's not having to overwrite things. It's just installing fresh. About six gigabytes? Okay, six gigs then. Come on, little feller. Nice. Do you still get the same pressure with blinds as you do tripods? Yes, blinds are the same as tripods, tree stands, all that stuff. Which is why I use these uh, waterfowl blinds, because you can put them closer to the tent than you can a tripod. And it's a lot faster to get in and out of them. Yeah, true, Noah, true. Supposedly, uh, Ark Survival Ascended is going to be less. They've kind of been, like, hinting that it's a lot more optimized and stuff, so they're able to have it take up way less space. I don't know how true that is, but, yeah, apparently with Unreal 5, they have a lot better technology within it to make it so file sizes are smaller. Ooh, he wiped out. That was insane. He got wrecked. Uh, yes, melanistic uh, kangaroos do exist. I've seen a few people get them. Two forty. Little feller. Goodbye, all you silly fallow. Wish I could afford a membership. Oh, no worries, dude. You don't have to. Memberships are kind of just like an extra way to support the channel. Like, believe it or not, 
the biggest support that you could possibly give to any content creator on YouTube is to just like their videos and comment under them. That does so much to help like push a video out to more people that, are, that have never watched the channel before. It is insanely helpful. If you want to support the channel and you can't be a member or anything, that's the best way to do it. Just leave comments on the new videos and click the like button. How do you buy a membership? I might look into it. There's a join button next to the subscribe button. Uh, there's also a link in the description as well as that link that was just put in chat. Also, how's it going, Merle? Hope you're doing good. No, we haven't got the great one yet. Hopefully soon. Found off TikTok, been sub since 80k. Nice, Noah, nice. I need to post more stuff on TikTok. I'm always slacking on the TikTok because, like, YouTube's my primary thing. And then, like, just whenever I remember to, I'll throw, like, a few of my shorts onto TikTok. But it's never been, like, my primary place to post content. I need to get better at posting on there because it's a phenomenal place to, like, promote your YouTube content. TikTok is actually a pretty insane place for promotion. Do I have a guide on how to set up like this? I've got a few guides that kind of go over it, yes. I have a guide with Lady Legend that's just kind of like tips for any grind. And then I've also got a couple of Fallow Deer guides. I think I only have one in the playlist though, because I, I kind of, it, it's the more up to date one. If you check out the herd management playlists, got, or, guides playlist that will have a fallow guide and I kind of talk about how I set up and things like that but I can't remember if I went into super like specific details in it it's been a while since I recorded it potentially uh, reviewing Pokemon cards potentially that uh, I've done some videos like that in the past so definitely a possibility One of my moderators, Sullivan. Yeah, essentially what TTK is saying is just don't uh, don't say the same message over and over again trying to get me to respond. It's not going to make me respond to it faster. It's very easy to miss messages and I'm not purposely ignoring anything. So just don't repeat the same thing over and over again. And you should be fine. Is a 202.5 diamond Bethidi Ibex max score? I don't know what the max score is, but that's definitely a big one. Anything above 200 is pretty good for them. I have not hunted Ibex in so long, man. One of these days I need to go back to Quattro and hunt them. Here we go. What is kill count? 1,145. Jake, thank you for the super chat, dude. Been a bit, just wanted to check up. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Hope you've been having a, uh, a good day. Hey, Thick. Another fallow there. That's a big five. Look at him, man. It's mid rack, so he's not going to be like 270. But he's not bad. 
not bad at all. He's very solid. How many kills in? 11.47. It's got a beautiful piebald red deer doe. Nice, ghost. That's awesome. Okay. I guess the other herd is not going to show. Oof. Feels bad. How many kills did it take me to get to the... Oh, hold on. There, There's the other herd. I love this gun. So satisfying, dude. 261. Let's go. You have to claim animals to spawn a great one? As far as we know, yes. The uh, developers kind of hinted at that because people started to notice that uh, they weren't getting great ones if they didn't claim things. Because it, it used to be a pretty big meta, to be honest. There used to be a lot of people that would just shoot everything and never claim it and get great ones like crazy. And then after an update, they suddenly stopped getting great ones. And so everybody started thinking, hey, maybe they changed it to where you can't get a great one anymore if you're not claiming your kills. So they did something. They definitely did something to make it so it's not happening anymore. And then like probably six, seven months later, somebody asked the same question in one of the expansive world streams. And Jaxie Beard responded with, you know, I can't give out specifics of the way things spawn, but a lot of people in the community have started to notice that it may be in your best interest to claim everything during your Great One grind. I'd say it definitely is good to claim the majority of your kills during a great one grind if you want to get a great one. Oh, gotcha, Johnny. <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> you stand no chance. You stand no chance. Against the 44 lever. It's just too good. It's just too good. That never gets old. Uh, Brobro will be streaming today. Yes, Brobro will be streaming today. It's Tackle Tuesday, so you bet he'll be streaming. He'll definitely be streaming. Little chocolate fallow. What type of chocolate do you guys like? I like fallow deer. That's my favorite type of chocolate. Should I buy the new DLC? I mean, I don't want to make that decision for you. I'd say, you know, just check out the videos that I've made on it. And from then on, you can kind of decide for yourself just based on what you've seen. I'd say it's a fun, it's a very fun pack. Is it like a necessity item? Like is everything like a required thing to have fun? Is it the new meta? No, but it is an interesting pack that does... Add a little bit of extra variety to your hunts. Oh, 
Come on, little fellow. There they are. I'm so tempted to add another zone into the grind. Because, like, we're getting a diamond every, like, 15 to 17 kills. Let me, let me calculate it, actually. So, we're at 1151 with 76 diamonds. So, divided by 76. Yeah, we're getting a diamond every 15 kills right now. We could probably afford to add one or two more zones into the grind. And I don't think it would affect our uh, diamond ratio too much. Yeah, that deer really wanted me. <laughs> I was I was tabbed out and I'm I'm looking at my streaming software on my other monitor and I just see my character getting moved around constantly. <gasps> what was that doe doing to me? <laughs> what was that doe doing to me, man? All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? I didn't miss I did I didn't miss that. I promise. Nope, nope, didn't happen. I didn't miss that. Uh, quick, put the footage from my YouTube short in place of that. <laughs> she wanted a hug. That was quite the hug she was going for. <laughs> that was quite the hug. Hey, Hunter. Yeah, the color's pretty fun. Definitely fun. You. Such a rude deer. You know, we're gonna... We're just gonna shoot them like this now. You're not getting away this time. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> Curious how that killed it. I thought I shot it in the nose. Maybe it went below the nose. Let's look. Oh, I was 0 to 300. Okay. So that actually worked out perfect. I was 0 to 300, so it hit the brain. Nice. What do I do if my moose aren't respawning? Search the map because they have respawned. They probably just respawned in different areas. You don't really have them ever, like, disappear, except for, like, very rare occasions. I would say it's probably best to just search the rest of your map, try to find if they've moved. If they're solo males, then they've definitely moved around. If they're part of your herds, then... Possible they just haven't respawned, but I'd say it's more likely that they've moved. Moose are one of the most inconsistently respawning animals in the game. They're just extra weird. Oof, got him down before that doe crossed in front. Had me a little scared. You have to unlock and buy the collars in game if you want to add them to the e-collar. Nope. You don't need to get the other collars at all. The e-collar comes with everything you could possibly need for calling animals, including a couple that cannot normally be called. Like the alligators. Why did your black bear stop showing up? Um Bears kind of do that. I've noticed that there's a lot of things that influence the bears. Like, for example, I switched up the lakes that I was hunting bears at, and suddenly they started showing up sooner. Like, I, I started managing down a couple lakes that I had been using, and then started hunting a couple lakes that I hadn't been hunting them at, and then all of a sudden they were coming in a lot more quickly. Sometimes just moving things around a little bit completely changes how the bears act. And sometimes they just start being weird for no reason at all. I've had that happen as well. It's likely they'll return at some point to their faster returning state that you have them in. Bears are an unexplained anomaly of the Call of the Wild community. 
you never quite know what to expect. I can't think of a single bear grind I've done where things were predictable. Holy, so many. How do you turn off the fog? Uh, it's only possible on PC. I have no clue why, but the majority of video games have way less customizability for settings on consoles. Uh, if you're on PC though, you just go to your video settings and you turn down or you turn off volumetric fog quality. It doesn't get rid of the fog, but it removes like the volumetric effect, essentially making it less. Why when I kill level twos and threes, white tail only one spawn? Um, are you trying to herd manage, Brayden? Nice, Kazar, that's awesome. Hopefully I said your name right. I probably didn't, but I tried. Boop, another one bites the dust. Uh, but that's pretty normal, Brayden. It's pretty normal to get ones showing up. That's just kind of how it is. Think of it this way. There's probably anywhere from like 150 to 200 male whitetail deer on Layton. And until you get like half of that map to be level ones, you're still going to have a lot of level ones showing up. It's not until you get to like probably 60, maybe 70% of your population being all level ones that you'll start seeing a difference in like lots of diamonds showing up. It's pretty normal to have a lot of ones showing up. That's just normal with a, a map that doesn't have a lot of them on it. Now, if you were super managed down and you had some ones showing up like quite often, that would be a little weird, but if you're like, if you haven't been doing a bunch of HM, then it's normal to get lots of ones to show up. Sullivan, why, why, why is that the question that you wanted me to ask that you wanted me to answer so badly? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Dylan, thank you for the uh, membership upgrade, dude. Going up to the Super Crow rank. Really appreciate it, man. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're doing super, super good. Got like 50 level 4 stags on my grind. What should I do? Ah, just keep stacking them up. I think that's probably around what I've got on my Emerald Coast grind. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. Okay, so the reason that we're fast traveling down here, even though there's nothing, is I don't want to throw my uh, rotation off. Because we shot them out of this zone first, and we just fast traveled over here, it would have just spawned us here again, which means we would have spooked these when we uh, fast traveled to our starting point. So I went down here, reset the time, so it kind of saves our location. Now when we exit, we'll be right at that tent, which is typically where we would end on a normal run. Thank you, Toaster. I hope we get the great one today. It's been been strange, like the, the lack of great ones recently. We've had an increase in super rares and a decrease in great ones. Our luck is just hitting in a different area right now. 
I mean, I'm not mad, but it is strange. Like, we went from getting, you know, lots of great one fallow deer super quick, uh, a couple great one moose here and there, the one great one bear, and not really getting many super rares, aside from the super rare bear, and now getting lots of super rares and barely any great ones. We've had, like, one great one in the past month. Which is way below the norm for us. I guess a lot of that does have to do with the fact that I've been playing so much Angler as well. Since that game full released onto console. So I guess, I guess I just haven't been grinding as much maybe, but we have not been getting a lot of great ones as of recent. I probably am just thinking into it too much though. It's probably just the fact that we've been doing a lot of Angler content second channel content and haven't been doing as long of grinding streams that's probably really all it comes down to is 40 zones for red deer enough to start the grind what map because uh zone counts are going to be different from map to map Just watched the Super Rare Mellow Fallow. You made an amazing video. Congrats on the Super Rare. Thank you, dude. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Glad you liked it. Also, do you guys want to see more of those videos where I kind of like grind a specific thing for a week and then at the end of the week, like all the stuff that I got during that grind get put into a video similar to what I did today? I wouldn't do Fallow for like any of the future ones, but like other species, maybe even some of the species that don't have great ones. Because it was kind of a fun thing to do, more of like a long-term project, like a week-long project. And then, of course, we would have our regular videos from day to day as well. Well, it looks like you guys really want to see more of it, so I think we'll probably do it. Maybe we could even, like, rotate out what great one I'm hunting every week. I think that could be fun. Where's the other herd? Where are you hiding? You think we'll get a great one in 37 kills? I sure hope you're right because I don't want this to be another 2,000 kill grind. We're at 1170 now. We could get it at around 1200. That would be amazing. Probra's back. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see next time I get paid whether or not I have enough to toss at some Pokemon cards. I definitely like the set, so I'm interested in it. That's a weird looking deer. Strange fallow. Probra ready to lose tonight. Oh, definitely. Yeah, exactly, bro, bro. It's like, ah, do I? It's like, save up for hopefully a house in the future or buy Pokemon cards. Which one? <laughs> Recently, I'm leaning a lot more towards just saving everything that I have that's extra. I don't know. I might buy like one booster bundle because they're not too expensive. I think they're like 20 bucks or something. I might do one of those, but I probably won't do much more than that. Don't work a full-time job apart from YouTube. Uh, no, YouTube is my full-time job right now. And has been for probably three years now. Because like during the first few months, I obviously wasn't making anything off of YouTube because I just started my channel. All right, just started posting consistently. But eventually I was able to make it a full-time job. Thanks to all of you amazing people that support the channel. Without all of you, it would not be a possibility for me.
How many zones do I have? I think it's like 36 or 37. Thank you, Grant. Nothing down there. Later, Sam. Thank you for dropping in. Yeah, I did see in the patch notes that the Great One music is back. There was some interesting stuff in the patch notes I did not expect. And I cannot think of what it was for the life of me. Otherwise, I'd tell you guys right now. But there was a couple things in the patch notes that I was really surprised about. Let me pull them up real quick. Let me see if I can find what I'm thinking of. Let me pull open Call of the Wilds website. News and updates. All right. What was it? Oh, they fixed the Kuso's like loading problem where it would sometimes not like chamber another round. They've addressed zeroing inaccuracies on 223, 270, 243 when they were zeroed to 300. Um, a few other zeroing things have been corrected, it seems, as well. So they did a lot of, like, fine-tuning and correction of, like, an animation problems and things like that. Apparently, they fixed, like, the firing ranges of using different ammunition with shotguns, which I think is why, like, the, the slugs were, for some reason, lower than they used to be. Yeah, just a lot of little fixes like that. This was very much like a heavy fix type of patch. They did the, the DLC, the three skin packs, and then a crap load of fixes. Which is pretty good. You know, I didn't really like think about it until now, but I haven't ran into a single like new bug this update. That's got to be a first. I have not ran into like any major bugs. Not that I can think of at least. Uh, yes, it says they did fix the uh, Cacciatore. There was a couple things that were mentioning the Cacciatore. It says... They fixed the zeroing on it for some ammo types. And I think there was one other that involves the lightning hands perk. It, it said it fixed a missing animation or something. So yeah, there was a couple fixes to that shotgun. Any great ones? No great ones yet. We're at 1175 kills. Getting up there. We are getting up there. Last couple runs, we've had two at that zone. Not normal, but hey, I'll take it. How do you get the animals to spawn in the reserve enclosures? Uh, they just naturally do if you're talking about Emerald. That's just normal. They're like that no matter what. And they're separate from your population. They're not the same animals... Like, it doesn't go towards your animal population. They're like props, essentially. They're not real. There was also patch notes that say that, uh... Animals will show to everybody in multiplayer for the Sanctuary on Emerald Coast. So they fixed that little bug where only the host could see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have confirmed that, like, uh... 
those animals that are in the sanctuary do not affect like your map. So they're like a uh, separate. And every time you load in, it generates like new ones. You've never had any spawn in? That's strange. You should have. Well, hopefully this update will have fixed that for you. Because it seems like they did some fixes related to it. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Picking up calls will not crash the game anymore. That was a bug that was happening for a while. They fixed a lot of bugs this update. I think there was a lot more bug fixes than content. Which is pretty good. A lot of people have been requesting a big bug fix patch. I'm surprised they didn't like advertise the fixes more. Like they pretty much only advertised the ambusher pack and then briefly advertised the skin packs. I'm surprised they didn't talk about all these bug fixes. Because there's a laundry list of bug fixes. And so far I haven't ran into any new bugs. Which is pretty good. Because I mean, I've spent a fair bit of hours on this update so far throughout early access and now today as well. And it, it feels good. No crazy bugs showing up so far. Later, Steven. Oh, definitely, Ronnie. For sure. There's not too many developers that support their game for this many years. And are like constantly adding new content to it. Given like it's all paid content for the most part, but I believe that's how they fund like all their development. They're a pretty small studio, so it's honestly impressive what they've been able to make this game into. There's that little fallow. Boop. Hey, Peterson, I'm doing good. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Thank you, Koi. Yeah, definitely, Ronnie. You know, for a while, their game was in a rough state, like around the 2020 mark. 2020, 2021, like around the time that COVID was hitting pretty hard, they uh, they were going through a rough patch because of it. There was a lot of bugs in the game back then. And then the recent like year, maybe year and a half, they've really stepped up their game as uh, in terms of bug fixing and new content that people have been requesting. They've definitely been stepping it up a lot. Nice human legend, that's awesome. Hopefully we can get ours now. Your update's done, nice dude, nice. The DLCs aren't even that expensive. Yeah, they're not, they're pretty cheap. I mean, it's no different than Call of Duty releasing like all their skin packs in their store, except actually it's, I would argue it's a lot better value than the random skin packs that Call of Duty does. Ooh, that's big. Oh, that's a big old five there. That's a chocolate five too. 
The big old chocolate five. He thick? He thick? That's for sure going to be a diamond. No doubt about that. Oh, yeah, that's big rack. That's a pretty wide one. Could this be 270? <gasps> ah! Yes! No way! A chocolate 270! <laughs> Holy crap! We got a chocolate 270! Yes! Yes! <laughs> a chocolate 270 fallow! Oh my gosh, that is so insane! Finally, we got a 270 to be chocolate or white! Holy crap, dude. That's awesome. This is so tough to get. I'm so happy. <laughs> that was like such a roller coaster. I, I saw it first and I'm like, ah, oh, that's a that's a that's a pretty big chocolate fallow deer. We get up to it and I'm like, man, that is that's really big. That could definitely be something good. <laughs> we pick it up and it's massive. That was like a <laughs> that was like a great one level reaction right there. <laughs> I did not expect him to actually be 270 plus. That's crazy. Wow. That's insanity. That is uh definitely gonna go into a YouTube short. For sure. Holy. It is super, super difficult. That is like a crazy tough thing to get. I don't know the exact like chances of getting the chocolate and the white fur types. They seem to be like uncommon though. Like a really easy to get uncommon. I'm th I think somebody said it's like one in five or like one in seven chance of getting one. So like that's still... That's tough to get a 270 plus of that. That's really, really tough. That is so cool. I can't believe that. Gosh, can you imagine if that super rare Mela had that rack instead? Holy crap, that would be the greatest fallow deer in the entire world. That would just be so nuts, man. Stop floating, Mr. Fallow. There he is. We will need to get some ammo soon. Hit him again. Not super great, though. Did you get the super rare Mela on stream? I did, Merle, I did. I think we got it like second or third run of the day. Like two or three days ago. I'm trying to remember. I say the date of it in the video. But yeah, we did get it on stream. Holy, holy, holy. Did you get the super rare? Oh, yeah, I already read that. Your 270 diamond fellow was a white? That's crazy, Deer Slayer. That is so crazy. You know, I, I can never decide if I like the white or the chocolate fallow deer better. I think they're both really cool. I kind of like the chocolate a little more, though. They're both so good, though. What map is this? Tiabaroa. I don't know why you need to ask that three times within five messages in the chat, but some things will always be a mystery.
Sorry, I had to respond to a text real quick from my wife. Now, let's get to smoking again. I think I'm gonna buy some more ammo because we are almost out. We have been using so much ammo for the 300 during this grind. Close your eyes if you don't like seeing flashing stuff because it's gonna be flashing for a while. What scope should you save up to for long range? Um, I would recommend the Argus scope for long range. Hyperion if you don't like how much room the Argus takes up on your screen. Can't get a diamond in my great one grind. I'm 300 kills in. Uh, you might just be on a bad streak, man. Um, I'm assuming if you're 300 in without doing or without getting a diamond, you're probably not doing herd management, so you're probably just shooting everything. You'll get some eventually. Even I go on pretty long dry streaks from time to time. I once went like 1,500 kills without getting a single rare during a whitetail grind. When normally you get one every 300 kills. What was the gun that I shot the chocolate fallow with? Uh, the 308 AR. Oh okay, yeah, that's probably good. 2100 bullets is probably good enough for now. I got so much money. Uh, oof, like 90,000 kills on great one grinds. That'll do it. Especially since a good portion of those kills, I think like 33 or 34,000 of those kills are Black Bear and Red Deer combined, which they give you usually like 1,200 to 1,700 cash per kill. And so 30,000 times 1,400 Times 1400 equals 42 million. So yeah, I've earned 42 million approximately just off of bears and red deer. Um, unfortunately though, I spend a lot of it on time resets because I am impatient <laughs> to say, to, to put it, to put it how it is, I'm impatient. So I spend a lot of money on time resets like this. Otherwise I'd probably have like 30 million or more right now, but instead I've got 16 million because I do a lot of time resets. Can you quickly talk about what level animals to hunt to get diamonds to respawn? Uh, it's going to depend on the species. Since we're hunting fallow, I'll talk about fallow deer. Uh, shoot the medium size level threes and above. Leave the level twos and the really small level threes. And on the off chance you get a level one to spawn, leave that as well. Uh, just kind of like a generalized rule of thumb is... If the animal goes to a max level of five, leave the twos and below. If the animal goes to a max level of nine, leave fours and below. If the animal goes to a max level of three, then just leave the level ones. And that's kind of like the quick rundown of it. Yeah, no problem, Stevie. If you need any more tips, I've got a couple different guide playlists on the channel as well. If you go to the playlist section, there's going to be one called Herd Management Guides, and then there's going to be one called just uh, Call the Wild Guides, I believe. Nothing here, you silly fallow. All right, guys, we're going to take a brief break so that I can go get something to eat real quickly. We've been streaming for like three hours now, so getting a little bit hungry. So I will be back in like 20 to 25 minutes. If you guys need to get up and go stretch or grab something to drink or grab a snack and then we'll be back in like 20 to 25 minutes, all right?
Hello, everybody. We're back. We are back, 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 back again. Scarecrow's back. Time to get a great one. Hopefully. Hey, Kraken, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. The great one flew by. I should have known, man. Those flying great ones, dude. Nice, Kraken. It's been pretty good for me as well. Aside from the lack of great one. Where is he? There we go. That's a boopable three. We gave him a nice little boop right there. The boop of death. Four and four. Hopefully you get it, Kraken. Yeah, hopefully, Ethan. Hopefully we do. Oh, me too, Kraken. It's going to be fun. Tackle Tuesday is looking to be looking to be great. It's the beginning of season two. So we completely like uh, redid the scoring system and everything to make it better. So hopefully this one will be uh, be better. Hopefully it'll be like more streamlined and interesting than the first season. But yeah, for those that are not familiar, Tackle Tuesday is like a little fishing tournament on Call of the Wild the Angler that Brober holds every Tuesday for him and his friends. So, we're going to be doing that at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so like two and a half hours from now. This week's fish is the Cutthroat Trout, so it's going to be hopefully a good matchup. Hopefully it'll uh, go well. Cutthroat Trout is one of my favorite fish of all time, IRL. So I'm excited for this one. We're now at 1,199 kills on the grind. And 1,200. Oh. Hate to see it. 1,200 kills. We're not having one of those lucky 500 kill grinds this time, that's for sure. For what, RC? I don't really use the Hunter's Wiki because it's kind of out of date on a lot of things. They don't really keep it as up to date as they should. You think 1651? That's like 451 kills away. Maybe. Maybe. What is the biggest deer that I've got IRL if I do hunt? I do hunt IRL, but I never had good luck with it, so I have not shot a deer, unfortunately. I've came very close, though. There was a couple times where I had one either like right next to me or in my sights and just couldn't get it for one reason or another. Uh, the first time I ever went hunting, we actually were tracking a pretty large deer. The tracks were just dwarfing every other track in the area. We heard them bounding away through the brush. I reached down into my pocket to check for my wallet because my wallet is where I had my deer tag. And I, I checked my pocket and guess what wasn't there? <laughs> my wallet. <laughs> so we had to stop hunting and... Uh, go back home and get my tag and then come back. And by the time we came back, he was long gone. Then like two years later, we hear that somebody killed a giant four by five in that area. So I missed out on potentially a monster black tail deer. And then there was another year where I had like a nice three by three in my uh, scope. 
But like, by the time I got it into the scope, I could not get steady. I could not get myself steady enough to take a ethical shot. And so I just opted not to shoot. Because he was at the tree line, he was about to disappear into it, and I could not get steady. And I just didn't feel comfortable taking the shot. And those are my two encounters with almost getting a deer. How many kills in? 1,203. And the combos that I'm really looking for right now is just anything that is fabled mocha. Or anything that is like blade rack or big typical rack. So like a fabled mocha typical would be my dream combo for ones that I don't already have. My all time favorite is the blade rack fabled mocha, but I already got one of those. So the big rack mocha would be my next one. Come on, little fallow deer. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate, Ethan. Yeah, it just happens sometimes. The thing about hunting is like, in many cases, it's better to just not take the shot than take a risky shot. Because like, if you hit them in like the stomach or something, that's going to be <laughs> a ridiculous cleanup job. And the animal suffers for longer. It's just, it's just not good. So in my opinion, it's always better to take your time with the shot. Make sure you can hit them vitally. How many total harvest? 12.05. Jeez, Gavin, that's crazy. That's wild. That must have been like a shocking thing to see. I bet you were just like jaw, jaw dropped. <laughs> Would I rather have five great ones of my choice or one super rare of my choice? Five great ones. Easily. Because, like, there are so many different great one combinations I still so badly want. And I would rather have five new great ones over one new super rare any day. It's like, sure. If you're if you're saying I could choose my super rare, that, uh, there, there'd be a pretty awesome super rare I could get out of it, right? But there's so many great ones I've been after for so long. Typical rack, rack whitetail. Uh, fabled piebald whitetail. Like any ultra rare whitetail. The uh, fabled birch typical rack moose. Like there's so many that I really badly want. Alright JC, no worries. Yo, Nate, what's up? It's been good so far. Been blasting fallow deer. We got a 270 scoring chocolate fallow today. So far, that's been the trophy of the day. No great one, though. We're at 12.07 on the kill count now. I think we've killed, like, 225 fallow today, roughly. Hoping that we get that great one. Come on, great one. Come on, great one. Where are you, buddy? Not in that herd. That's oh, something just spawned in. That right there. That was weird when they render in late. Like, where were you two seconds ago? So 8k kills today? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, you're actually not wrong, Nate. I just hit 8,000 total kills for Fallow Deer. <laughs> you were actually right on one. 
We've killed 8,009 fallow across all of our grinds. What time is Tackle Tuesday tonight? It is going to be two hours and 16 minutes from now. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I saw Super Rare and it was just a level 4. That happens sometimes, man. I've had a couple like that. 69 kills, probably. I, I agree with that one. Later, uh, Bannerman. Thank you for dropping in. Good to see you, man. What is my longest great one grind? My first bear grind was 8,300 kills. That's my longest one of all time. That, that sounds about right, Nate. That sounds about right. Which is why I'm not doing that. I'm going to save all my diamond luck for Tackle Tuesday. Nice. Not risking it, gotcha. Gonna have to go like catch some crappie or something. Because knowing knowing how our luck is, right? You're gonna get a diamond crappie now that it's not tackle Tuesday for crappie. Oh no, am I? Hope you've got a backup for it. Hello, little guy. Actually, I can just shoot next to him. Boop. Boop. Okay, he's dead. We're good. What's your opinion on the typical rack speckled? I think it matches really well. Like the color of the antlers fits very well with the uh, the white head of the speckled. Fits pretty good. Yeah, Kraken. Well, hopefully we'll get it today then. Hopefully it will show today. Imagine another super rare. I do not expect another super rare. If I get another super rare, I'll actually be like a little sad. And the only reason is because if I get another super rare this soon, my comment section is just going to be full of like, is he cheating? Oh my gosh, is he a cheater? So I kind of hope the super rares stay away for a little bit. No, they definitely do a uh, little dash. You just gotta, you just gotta grind a lot. Like my first great one took like 3,700 kills to get for Whitetail. However, I did get a bugged great one at 2,700 back then because they used to have a bug where if you didn't shoot at the same session that it spawned in, it would turn into an overweight diamond. You guys have probably seen that in a video. Yeah, that used to be a big problem, but it, it took a while for me to get my first one as well. Honestly, it really just comes down to sinking a lot of time into grinding a species. The more time you can sink into grinding, the more chances you have of getting great ones. And there's a chance herd management helps you as well. Definitely feels like it for some species. But a lot of it's just putting a massive amount of time into uh, doing it. Yeah, Clay, but I don't count the other one as, like, being part of a grind because it was in multiplayer.
I'm just talking about my level five one. My bugged level five whitetail. <laughs> he turned into it. Oh man, that's great. Do a video on your worst disasters in Call of the Wild? Maybe one of these days. That that actually is a good idea. Although I try to like I try not to dwell on the like negative moments of my time on YouTube, so I don't know if I'll do it. I have more fun like reliving the like crazy moments. Hey Shadow, I'm doing good. Hopefully you are as well. Thoughts on the new electronic color? I think it's going to be fun for bow hunting. And I also think it's going to be great for like getting uh, a perfect broadside shot on like uh, a trophy that you want to take down with a close range weapon like bows or handguns. It's really good for that type of stuff. And it can be fun for just like dropping down and seeing what comes over to it. Is it like a... Is it something you 100% have to have? Not really, but it can be a lot of fun for sure. I think all those does from the other herd was there, so I don't think we're gonna have any more bucks there if I reset the time. What likes am I grinding on the new bear grind? It's like the top left corner where I buy grinds, as well as like one or two other lakes below there. Because those, uh, that area over there seems to be the quickest respawning. Once you've moved the female bears around. When will be the next collab? No clue. Collabs are tough to do. Uh, Cause you gotta get like both parties to have like some free time. Time zones also come into play. It's hard to say. I mean, we'll be doing collabs with Brobra and uh, Nate and Caitlin. But aside from that, I have no clue. I know, right, Kraken? It's always the time zones. It's always the time zones. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would, Ronnie. My bears are cursed. Doesn't matter who's shooting them, my bears are just cursed. Okay, no new male there. I almost said bear because we're talking about bears. <laughs> I almost said no new bear there. Of course, Scarecrow. Of course, there's not going to be a bear there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, nice, Kraken. Nice. You'd love to see it. He got the boop of death. Oh, stop floating. Ah! What's that about? <laughs> Holy crap. These fallow are getting aggressive today. I've just been getting pushed around by them like it's nothing. 
You know what? Just for that, Faladir. What, what do you think of that? I'm shooting your leader. I'm shooting the, uh, the big male of the herd. Shooting him while he's dead. How does that make you guys feel? Huh? Disrespecting him. When will I do an IRL hunt? I don't know if I'll ever get time anytime soon, man. I am so, so busy between like making content on this channel, doing content on the second channel, being a dad, like all that stuff just takes up all my time. I don't think I'll get time to go hunting for a while. Cause hunting's not as easy as like going for a fishing trip. Like hunting takes some planning if you want to have success at it. It takes some planning, it's kind of expensive to get all the tags and licensing and stuff. At least around here it's pretty expensive to get tags. I think a deer tag's like 50 bucks or something. I think an elk tag's like 75 or something like that. Ah, no clue, Robert. I think it's just a way of like uh, making sure that people don't go over the limits because there's limits for everything in most states at least like for example here in Oregon that's a new level two wait no it's not no no, no that's not a new level two that was there before that two was there before that's new right there 154 to 195 because I would not have left a 154 min estimate. Uh, what was I saying? I think a lot of it's just to keep track of the limits and stuff. Because every single animal you hunt, for the majority of them at least, there's limits. Uh, aside from a few species, like, for example, like coyotes, you don't need a tag for them. You just need a license. But for stuff like blacktail deer, most places in Oregon, the limit is one buck per year. Unless you draw for some of the controlled hunts. Dial ready, you silly deario. Nah, we don't really have hogs down here. Nah. Uh, there might be like one here or there, but they're few and far between, thankfully. Oh, gotcha, Sketchy King, gotcha. Yeah, in Oregon, we have to have tags for the majority of big game. Actually, for all big game, we have to have tags. Uh, some are super, super limited as well. Like, if you want to hunt for bighorn sheep, mountain goat, or uh, I think even pronghorn, I think you have to draw a controlled hunt tag. There might be some, like, uh, general tags for pronghorn. I could be wrong. But I know for a fact mountain goat and bighorn, you have to draw for them. So you're essentially paying for a chance to get to purchase a tag. And then over the years, every year that you don't get picked for one, you build up points and eventually they'll just give you one. Like, if you want to go for the, the harder to find stuff like the mountain goats and the bighorn, it is expensive if you don't get lucky. Yeah, we don't really have hogs here, thankfully, like... Luckily, the hogs have not taken over Oregon yet. Because I know they are menaces in other places. Uh, it's already out, Tanner. It released today. Nothing else. No other herd. One buck and three does a day, but we got... Only get six ducks? Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, we don't get as harsh as like strict of limits on ducks here, I don't think. I think we get 
probably is it like 20 i think it's like 20 or something like that i'll have to look into it i know you have to get like a duck stamp and i don't know what the daily limit is for ducks Let's see. Okay, I'm wrong. I am way wrong. <laughs> okay, where is it? So, for a lot of Oregon, it looks like for geese, it's five Canada geese per day, 15 total in possession. Oh, wow. Actually, a bunch of the other geese have higher limits. 10, 20, 12, 30, 60 for white geese, white-fronted geese, Canada goose, white goose, uh, already red white goose. Yeah, that's actually... Wait. No, 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 never mind. That's the... This is so confusing the way they set it up. I don't know. It's not as much as I thought, but... I'll have to look into it. I think I'm reading it wrong. Is limit for ducks in the western state like Utah, Oregon, or seven? Got you. Yeah, for the most part, Oregon's got pretty strict hunting regulations. Unfortunately. What mic am I using? This is the Shure MV7. Yeah, and also like the different parts of Oregon have different bag limits as well. How much for elk tag? Well, like seven or so years ago, it was like $75. I'm assuming it's probably more now. Nice, Kevin. Nice. What are the new callable species besides gators? I can't remember. I'd have to look into it. I haven't gone through all the new species that can be called with it. I just remember somebody else mentioned one. I will only play American Marksman again if they update the game. They haven't updated the game at all. There's been zero updates to the game, so I don't really have a reason to go back until they update it. Because, like, there's not really much there to make content on, unfortunately. I thought they'd be updating it more consistently, but they've just gone MIA ever since they released it. Fifty for an elk tag in Utah? That ain't bad. That's not bad at all. And isn't Utah a rocky elk? Hey Nate, how's it going? Oh, raccoon dogs. Okay, raccoon dogs. Nice. That's a cool thing to get a call added to it. That makes sense. To be honest, they should have had one from the beginning. Is there a predator? You could easily use the predator collars for them. No, oh, he's floating. And yeah, whenever you guys ask a question, if I don't answer it, check chat. It's likely that somebody else answered it. There's sometimes where if somebody else has answered the question already, I'll skip the question because it's already been answered. If, so if you have a question, just be reading chat after you ask it. It's likely there's other people that will answer it as well. 
and may get to it before I do. Don't worry, Shadow. Just watch the streams. That's all that really, that's all you really need to do. Watch the streams, leave a like, comment on the videos, all that stuff. It helps out just as much. What gun am I using? The 300 Magnum. Ah, stopped behind her, man. Oh, you just had to. There we go. Got him. Finally. Finally, he's down. How much is the new pack? $4.99. I'm kind of surprised that it's $4.99 in instead of $3.99, to be honest. I was fully expecting it to be $3.99 again. What is the easiest great one? Uh, for sure, Fallow Deer. Fallow Deer, on average, give the most short grinds. Which isn't a guarantee that yours will be short, but you got a better shot at a short grind with Fallow Deer. Kind of the same for Moose as well. Don't run! Ugh. Love that 44. Is the gun I'm using in a DLC? It's in the Yukon Valley DLC. I didn't stop it, Jetty. I didn't stop it. What map am I on? Tiawaroa. What's your dove limit? I'm not sure. Never hunted them before. And never really looked into it. Uh, just remember, Tommy, that's an outlier. Like, his grind is an outlier. You would have to be very, very unlucky to go 8,000 kills without a great one. Which is also the same with my bear grind. My bear grinds are an outlier. Mine is not the norm. It's not normal to go 8,300 kills before the first bear great one, and then to be 3,000 into the next grind. Definitely not normal. to track him yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grab that one he's too far away he's way too far away that is just a waste of time there's the other one pretty big four got an idea guys you ready for this Pull the brand new 44 out, 0 to 100, and... We're gonna zoom over there. What's my favorite Fallow Great one? Fabled Mocha Blade Rack. Ah, uh, that is so satisfying. It is so, so satisfying. I don't quit grinds, uh, Cole, or cool dude. I've said this pretty much every stream. And just because I haven't done a grind for a couple days does not mean that I have stopped it. If I only did one grind endlessly, I'd begin to hate the game. So I got to take breaks and do other stuff from time to time. And a lot of times I kind of just grind for whatever I feel like grinding for and then later I'll return to other grinds. I just kind of go for whatever I'm in the mood to grind.
No, oddly enough, you cannot call the Crocs with the uh, collar. I was pretty surprised with that. Because you can call the Gators, so why not the Crocs? Doesn't make sense to me. I'm wondering if maybe they just forgot to put it in. One thousand two hundred and forty one kills. What rack and fur am I hoping to get? I would love to get a fabled mocha big rack. Fabled mocha big typical rack would be incredible. Oh no, Kraken. <laughs> oh, that's that's rough, dude. Gonna be interesting to see how that goes. You know, I can't say that I didn't see that coming, Johnny. <laughs> you think I can shoot and kill a deer this year? Maybe, dude. You never know. And never know, man. That <laughs> sounds about right, Kraken. That is what that type of grind does to you. You know, it's been a while since we've had a rare. It's been about probably 350 kills. Yeah, about 350, maybe even 400 kills since our last rare. We're due for one at this point. Oh, I don't blame you, Johnny. It's been like pretty much the entire stream that they were kind of pushing it. What did you miss? Nothing too crazy. Actually, uh, that's a lie. We did get something pretty crazy, Colton. We got a 270 scoring chocolate fallow deer. It may not be a super rare, but like that's a pretty crazy trophy. Let's hope we get a great one too. Yeah, hopefully, man. <laughs> yeah, Drake. <laughs> it has been a while since we got a rare though. Ooh, that's a big boy. Like just a rare of any kind. It's been a while. Cause I think that super rare showed up at like probably 800 kills into the, into the grind. We're at 1244 now and have not got another rare. A decent five there. Will he make diamond though? That is the question. There's another. Watch our next rare is going to be a pie ball of level two. I'm calling it. That is my prediction for the next rare. Boom. Oh, 264 max weight. Let's go. Nice, cracking nice. Never mind. Oh, 
Rip, always just a chocolate. It's always the chocolate ones, man. The chocolate fallow always gets you. Uh, it's just from chat, Lil Dash. So essentially what happens when somebody gets hidden in a stream is they can still type. Their messages just don't show up. It's like they can still watch streams. They can still type, but it just won't show up to anybody else. We try not to hide anybody unless they're just being like a disturbance to the rest of the viewers or if they're like saying some like racist crap or something like that then obviously they're gonna get banned oh yeah I kind of like it better than the way twitch does it a uh, little dash like on twitch if you ban somebody they know that you banned th that you banned them but on YouTube like they'll never know they'll never know unless somebody tells them which is honestly kind of hilarious Oh, silly fallow deer. Boop. Could be sketchy king, could be. I mean, all these does have been on my map for literally months at this point where's the great or when is the great one that's what I'm saying dude we're 1250 now in about 500 more kills we'll be at the kill count when we got our last one I didn't even know that was a possibility Shecky I didn't know they did that in Way of the Hunter for the uh, Gems box. Very interesting. You think it'll be a hundred more? Maybe. Do I think I'll get one this stream? I don't know. We got like an hour and 43 minutes until we have to go over to Tackle Tuesday. So I'll probably stream for like another hour on this and then take a brief break. Which that's approximately like 80 to 85 more fallow kills. So we'll get a little bit over 1300 kills in total on this grind during this stream. So I guess it depends on if we can get a great one to spawn within the next 85-ish kills. Don't stop in front. Oh, what the? There's another. Oh, what did I hit? Wait, what did I hit there? What did I hit there? Did I go under him and like somehow enter the heart from underneath his legs? No way. There's no way. Two more down. Got a feeling it's gonna show up in the next run, maybe. Neck? I don't think it was neck. I was aiming way too low for it to be a neck shot, I think. We'll have to check. You gotta check for the neck. It's vitals. I'm gonna guess we hit underneath it like we went under its belly and into the chest. Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. 
What? Okay, I think that was a bug. I think that was a bug shot. <laughs> I think that was a bug shot. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, Texas lung shot apparently, yeah. That's crazy. Love to see it. I think it's likely we could get a uh, an elk Swedish hunter. I'd say that's pretty likely. If only the 300 had that pen on moose, that's what I'm saying. Why doesn't it? It is very weird that uh, all the handgun calibers have better penetration than the 300 and the 338. It is very strange. Like, I get they're trying to incentivize people to use handguns, like giving them reasons to use the handguns over rifles, but come on. That's just insanely unrealistic. Three there that we can pop real quick. Gosh, I hate it when they stop sprinting as I'm lined up perfect to get the, the moving shot. All right, we're going to hit him with the, uh, with the 44. Got to claim all these first though. We're on a dry streak too. We haven't seen a five in a few runs. Oh, definitely Johnny, 100%. Hey Colton, that's about where I am. I'm at 12.58 right now. If Scarecrow could hit the vitals, that would be lovely. But we all know I can't. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, to be honest, 270 and 6.5 should be class 3 to 7. We need more rifles in that range. Yeah, we definitely do need some three to eights. That would be really nice. That would definitely be a good little range to have. Floating! Stop it! Why are Fallow so rude floating about? Really? That had to get their attention, right? Landed right next to them. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 
Yes, we do need new sites. That'd be really cool. No, Kraken, I didn't. I only spent like an hour and a half looking for him, though, so... I wasn't really trying that hard. Holy. Three here. Oh my gosh. Don't run from me. Uh, it should work on Xbox. There's certain lakes that it doesn't work on, I've noticed. But it should work on, on every platform. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the moose. The moose are just phenomenal. Yeah, hopefully, Kraken, hopefully. He's a tough one, though. Yeah, even a 4 to 12 scope would be very, very helpful. I feel like a 4 to 12 would bridge the gap between Hyperion and Argus quite well. Oh, uh, believe it or not, Ronnie, I met her on Ark Survival Evolved. I legit met my wife while playing Ark. Because we happened to join up in the same tribe and quickly realized we had a lot of things in common. Uh, and then after that, we were friends for a few years and... Eventually, she came over to visit Oregon. Uh, and visit me for my birthday. And then that's kind of where we, we knew that... There was going to be a lot more than just friendship. That was when we really, really realized how much we actually liked each other. And then we've been together ever since and it's been, what, crazy amount of years now. I believe we got together in 2016. Or no, 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 not 2016. What am I thinking? 2019. 2019 is what I meant. Fallow brain be hitting right now. Got a major case of fallow brain. And honestly, on that note, I think I'm probably going to take a little break from streaming and get ready for Tackle Tuesday, which will be at 6 p.m. So in one and a half hours, we will be streaming again for Call of the Wild, the Angler. But thank you all for dropping by for the, the Hunter Call of the Wild stream. It was a fun one. We got a really cool trophy. That 270 scoring Chocolate Fallow was incredible. I'm glad we got something notable. But uh, yeah, until next time, thank you all for being here. Peace.